Gunworks. We're going to talk a little bit about extractors today. Um, primarily, we're talking about 9mm and 40 cal, not um, 45 ACP. Slightly different story there, but generically what we're going to talk about holds true. So the extractors um, are come in two varieties, basically. There's the old version, the original version is a spring steel that's supposed to be here. And then the newer versions, most of them are made out of tool steel. And the spring steel is much stiffer um, and holds um, its position a lot better, a lot longer. But nobody's really making them in 9mm anymore. So there's some battles here on keeping the two adjusted. So ideally, um, in a perfect world, we run um, spring steel. This is an Aftec. It's the only spring steel type extractor on the market. It has some other features with these springs that are a little bit less important, but um, I'll show you at the end how to adjust that. Um, you'll see it's um, early 2019. You'll see us come out, Atlas Gunworks, with a 9 millimeter spring steel extractor. Um, hopefully before the end of 2019, we're working hard on that right now. Um, and that should um, add a bunch of reliability to the the platform especially in the nine major guns but um and we used to use this one exclusively so i'll show you how to adjust this one at the end we don't use it anymore because of we've had some um, problems with them and the new style or the newer style which almost everyone I, I mean if you bought any generic everyone i think except this one runs um uh, they're just running tool steel, so it'd be made out of the same material as the slide 4140. And I'll actually show you how to tension test this before I tear it apart and show you how to adjust the two. But both of these are service items. They're both going to need some adjustment over time. These are not something that you can set and then, um, you know, forget it for 10 years or 100,000 rounds. They're... Remember that this part, when it sits in here is moving right so the case is coming up underneath that and that's flexing out every time and that movement will eventually you know it will reset somewhere different than it was at some point and it'll need a little adjustment um so the extractor tension test which we've got some other videos on but this one's um super important so anytime i tear down a 1911 i'm going to do a quick extractor tension test take a round preferably one that's not super beat up we don't have many of those around here but um, we're going to slide it like it's coming out of the mag from underneath the breech face. So I'm going to come up underneath, flat, and then slide it up. I'm going to hold it directly in the center, you know, where it's going to be lined up with the firing pin hole. So that's where it's going to get, you know, when it held. So remember, this case is going to go in the gun. It's got the barrels going to come, it's going to come up into the barrel, be fired, and then we need the extractor to yank the case out. So the extractors have a little hook on them, and they're going to pull on the case. The tension left and right here needs to be correct, and there's a window where it operates. If you're too tight, when the case comes up like this from the mag, it'll pinch it like that, and you'll actually see what'll happen is it'll pinch like this, and you'll see the bullet kind of tip up and stovepipe up into the, usually right up into the top of the barrel. So that's too tight. If it's too loose, you'll slide this up here uh, on the test, and it'll fall right out. So. The test matters a little bit which extractor style I have. On the older ones, I need a little bit less tension than on the new ones. So on the new ones, I want to put it on the breech face just like I have it, and I'm going to shake super hard. And if after six or seven hard shakes it comes off, that's okay. If it comes off before that, we probably need to add a little tension. When we're doing it with the old style, we probably are good if it stays on for four or five shakes, let's say. That's not super accurate, you know, the different shakes, but it gives you an idea. If you slide this case up here and it falls right out, then we know that we have no, almost zero or zero extractor tension. That's a problem. So remember that with both of these, it's a moving target, right? As you shoot this gun, if you shoot a high pressure round or, um, you know, as debris builds up in this tunnel, it's gonna affect how these move. So they do require adjustment over time. It's a serviceable part, we'll say that. So on the, the tool steel extractors, what we're running in the current guns. So that's anything made by Wilson at Brown, Brown Owls, you know, any of the basic ones, almost pretty much every one except the Aftec in nine millimeter. Again, this is biased towards nine and 45 ACP. The adjustment for this is much simpler. That's the cool part. So take your extractor out. 
it's pivoting off this hump, right? And they both have a hump in them. They're just kind of different, but this hump is touching the back end of the tunnel here and then the hook's coming in from there. So this is our pivot point, this area right here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use this part of this slide right here. I'll try to hold this so you can see. Right in here. That's, this is gonna be my leverage spot and I'm just gonna bend it with my fingers against that. It's pretty easy to do. So I'm gonna stick, so the hump is the pivot point. So I need to bend off the hump, right? I'll call it a hump, I'm sure there's a technical name for that. So I put it into about that, to that spot, the hump's kind of right here. And then if I wanna add tension, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it oriented the way it would normally go in and I'm gonna pull it towards me, right? So that's gonna add tension. If I want to decrease tension, which is uncommon, but possible, I'm going to flip it around 180 degrees, do the same thing. And you can feel it move. I mean, it does not take much. These are not that tough. I'm, it's hard to probably gauge how much pressure I'm putting on here. I'm not doing enough to really move it much now because I like the tension on this one. But it, you can do it with your finger right here, right on the range. In fact, that last pull, I probably pulled a little hard. It's probably up a little bit. So let's put it back together and see what the story is there. And then at the end of this, I'll, guys who have Aftex are probably fast forwarding here, but I will, um, I'll show you how to tension the, the tool steel or the spring steel extractors. All right, so you'll have, a, you'll have a different, you'll be able to tell from this test whether or not you'll have a different result. That's a good, it's a little bit tighter. Still okay, I'm okay with that. If you could never shake it off and you had to push it super hard up on this breech face, there's probably a chance that it won't feed. But if your gun feeds, keep them nice and tight, you're fine. Um, if Again, if you get that, it won't come underneath the extractor. So you look down, your gun's having a malfunction, you look down, and the, the this is trapped underneath, it hasn't started to come up, and the bullet's tipped up, that's your extractor's too tight. Or something else is stopping it from coming up the breech face. So on these spring steel versions, and it's not just the Aftec, any salt good spring steel extractor, you can't bend these with your hands. These are stout. So got to back up here and we'll look at the vise. The pivot point is right about here on these. So I'm going to pinch it in that spot in the vise in front of that first hole. Now, this is going to seem barbaric, but you're going to use your persuader I call it, you know I've got a 12 ounce hammer here and we are going to hit that whichever way we need to go um, now the trick to this is really just tapping it and watching and you'll see it move that one moved a little bit and once it moves you know you reset so the tension on this one wasn't that terrible before so we might have gotten a little too far these take a lot more to adjust because you need a vice and you need a little more time um, cause you got to tear them all out on the springs and all that. But it would be true if we had a spring steel one without the springs. It's just that metal stiff, it's stout. When it, that metal is working properly and those are made correctly, it's a really, really good thing. It's the way the original print calls for. It's what, it's what we should be running in every gun. They just, no one was making them for a long time. So you're starting to see companies like us realize that the, there's no way around it. Those have to be made. So, um folks are gearing up to make those now we can't well, i'm sure there's other folks working on this same solution because for a lot of years the aftec was what was standard in all our guns <clears throat> so aftec back in that gun pay attention to your head stamp um they vary in size in nine millimeter more than any other caliber so that can be an issue if you're running federal at matches or whatever or, or um primarily one kind or another then set your tension to that and, and deal with the variances. Winchester tend to be the bigger ones. So that's actually too tight, right? I can't really shake it off. And this is the, also the spring steel. So that steel is a lot stiffer. So this is on the plus side. I would, I would loosen that. This was perfect before I messed with it. I just tightened it a little bit as I was going there. So if you've got a spring steel extractor, um, whether it's an Aftec or something similar, and again, a nine millimeter, there's nothing else right now in the market, but there will be, I'm sure not, well, not the only one, some other buddy else will have it by the end of 2019. If you're running a standard extractor, which is pretty much every other kind on the planet, then you can adjust it with your hand just in the back of the slide. Um, 
I'm, these are super generic numbers, so don't take these to the bank, but the Aftex probably hold tension for 15, 20,000 rounds without needing any major adjustments. Um, the spring steel ones, it's probably five to 10,000, yeah. cool. and they're wanting. Tool oh, steel. tool steel. Yep, Kat's here doing all the hard work with the camera. Um, so yeah, she's right. Tool steel here, spring steel here. Uh, again, spring steel's rare, but I wanted to show you how to adjust it. We have a lot of old guns with the old Aftex, which work really well. Um, and um, you'll see again, the, so if you do own an Atlas gun and you happen to have a tool steel one, when the guns come in for annual service, we'll update all the guns at some point to the new extractors when we have them perfected. So probably sometime in early 2020 that's going on. Hope to see you guys on the range soon.